Mm-mm. Huh? Um... <clears throat> Mm-mm. They're taking advantage of you. Mm -mm. I get that. I do. Believe me, I know what it means to reunite with long lost family. But this, this is family you barely know. Huh? Hi, Marlo. Where is everyone, hmm? Hello? Aunt Glenna? Niall and Morvan aren't here either, by the looks of it. But Marlo's his usual self. His usual mischievous self. Stop that, Marlo. You're making a mess. Did you shred whatever this was? Well, I'd better clean it up before Aunt Glenna skips your treats today. Wait, not me, posters. But that means... Did something happen to Aunt Glenna? No damage other than what Marlowe caused. No sign of a break-in. It's almost like these posters were... hidden here deliberately. Aunt Glenna? What are you doing with the Not Me mask? So you recognize it? That'll make things easier to explain. Of course I do. Wait, are you? Yes, love. I know Not Me isn't exactly the most reputable group around, but if you're willing, I can explain. I've always worried about Niall. People may not openly discriminate against squibs anymore, but I've seen the way it eats at him. And it'll be like this for the rest of his life, unless something changes. You joined because of Niall? Yes. When I learned about Notme's message, about how they want to share magic with muggles, it felt like the right thing to do. I think their message is right, but a lot of people are going to get into trouble because of Notme. I've seen it happen already. It's been so hard for Niall, living between two worlds. But if everyone knew about magic, if everyone shared it, I know he wouldn't feel so alone. I believe you did all of this out of love, Aunt Glenna, but... Look, I'm not asking you to agree with not me or join them. I just want you to understand why I'm involved, why I believe in this. I'm so glad to have you in my life. I hope you feel the same way and can accept me for who I am. That's all I'm asking. And I will, Aunt Glenna. It's just... I think there are better ways to help Niall. Maybe your worry for him is getting in the way of truly understanding him. I've tried talking to him, tried getting closer. But whenever we spoke, it felt like he was shutting me out. He didn't even want my help with his show. Well, maybe what Niall needs isn't the kind of help you're offering, Aunt Glenna. He doesn't need help with things he's already great at. Niall's passionate about his puppet show. He wants you to care about it too, about what he's doing, not just about him. Instead of offering to fix his hair and nails, why not focus on the show itself? Watch it. Talk to him about it, not about him. 
There's a difference. Like, you could always talk about the characters. Despite the family resemblance, I could really tell the three brothers apart. The character work was spot on. Or comment on the plot. That last twist was brilliant. A clever change from the original story. Kept me on the edge of my seat. I see. I understand now. If I talk like that, Niall will see that I actually understand his show. Thank you. I'll start practicing straight away. Who's there? Oh, it's you again. I hope you're not intending to move in. No, Morvin, but I thought I'd take you up on your offer. My offer? To do what exactly? To join you on your daily tour of Hogsmeade. You promised to share a few stories about the Merriweather family. You didn't forget, did you? No, no, of course not. Perish the thought! The Merriweather name has a long and glorious history. It's natural you'd want to hear it. Anyone would. Wonderful. Shall we go then? Fine. I shall allow your company. Just this once, and you... What was your name again? Hmm. Yes, I knew that. Do you think I don't recognize my own home? I built it. Years ago now. Must be... I'm not sure. Aunt Glenna said you died more than 200 years ago. That's a long time to be haunting the same house. Someone has to keep a watchful eye on the family. Don't want any bad eggs to sully the Merriweather name. Now come along, I've business to attend to. It's changed so much, and not for the better. So many new businesses, so much expansion. It's a wonder we haven't been found out by the Muggles. What will all the noise? I thought most of the shops in town were quite old. To you, maybe. To me, they may as well have opened yesterday. And the people, so many new faces. And not all of them friendly, you know? Some of these shops have been around for decades. It seems like Morvin's memories are all mixed up. We had a lovely cup of tea at Madame Puddyfoot's. Well, I did. Morvin said it wasn't strong enough, of course. We stopped in at Honeyduke so Morvin could admire the cakes and candies. Apparently he had quite a sweet tooth in his day. He claims he can almost smell the peppermint. Morvin demanded a refund on a quill he bought at Scrivenshaft's. Not surprisingly, when she declined, since the quill was purchased two centuries ago. The Hogsmeade Cemetery. I've never been here before. Wait. Are you buried here? Just up ahead. I told the family they needn't bother as I was sure to awaken at any moment. They went ahead with it anyway. It seems... abandoned. Do you need help cleaning it off, or do you want to keep it like this? Suit yourself. I wouldn't care either way. Let's see, it says... Here lies Morvan Merriweather, beloved by all who knew him as the wizard he wished he was. Oh. 
um, that's... Hmm. Lovely, isn't it? Sure, I guess so. <laughs> ah, yes. Here lies a Merryweather to be proud of, gone far too soon. He got on well with my son. Tiburon was one of the few Merryweathers who didn't look down on those without magic. Probably why he ended up marrying a muggle. Huh? I remember your great-grandmother. She was a lovely woman. Kind, thoughtful, and fearless, as I recall. The fact that she was... a muggle only made her more impressive. I'm sorry, I thought... You thought I was some old incorrigible fool who hates all muggles, didn't you? Well, I may be old, but I'm far from bitter. It's just that your time was one when wizards despised squibs. I'd say it was a time when wizards and squibs despised each other. You're right. Uh, I read about the witch hunts in History of Magic. They were... awful. If you'd like, I can tell you more about those days, though. Gosh, now I have a dozen new questions to ask. Hmm, where to begin? Though perhaps another time. We have a performance to attend, do we not? That lad's got more than enough determination, and the famous Merryweather courage, mind you, to put on a non-magical show in a place like Hogsmeade. For his mother's sake, I hope it goes well. Niall, show! Oh no, we're late, and I promised to add some magic. Come on, let's go! Go where? Who are you? And why are you trespassing on the Merryweather grave? Well, at least his memory is haunting me bad. I've gotta go. Maybe I can still catch the second half of the show if I hurry. I want as you wish. I want the pa this stone. I ask only for. Ha! Huh, I. See. Crucio! Ashwinders. I'll take it from here. Stand back. Chinese fireball dragon. Niffler. Expulso. Nimbus two thousand. Side along no. apparition. The witch snowballs. Merton. No. Spelliamus. Spelliamus. You called? Leave it to me. Augmenti. The witch snowballs. Stupefy. Oh, Protego Totalum. That didn't go as planned. Inflatus. Ashwinders. Golden Snitch. Nimbus Crucio! It was power overwhelming, undefeated in battle. Yet I lived in fear, each breath a curse, never at ease, never truly free.
I called her back from the dead, yet her soul remained beyond reach. My beloved, your eyes, as cold and distant as stone. What love can thrive in such a hollow shell? It has been far too long, my old friend. At last, I greet you willingly. You face me now, yet passed your gift on to your children. Do you think they can escape me as you did? No, my friend. Not to escape. I wished only for them to live. To live with hope. Not fear. Come, it is time. Your journey has long been complete. Everything turned out fine. They love it. Brilliant. I knew they would. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. Huh? Oh, yeah. It was neat. I like death when caught up to the brothers. Got what they deserved, didn't they? Yes. Um, thanks, I think. Uncle Anna, um, did you want to say something to Niall too? Despite the family resemblance, I can really tell the three brothers apart. The character work was spot on. That's it. You're doing great. Wow, you've, you've actually watched the show, haven't you? I'm really glad, Mum. That last twist was brilliant. A clever change from the original story kept me on the edge of my seat. Yeah, can't believe it's actually working. Strings? No magic. You did that without magic? Yes, all of it. That's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Look at them, all applauding my Nile. He'll be part of the community in no time. Thank you for coming to my son's show. A round of drinks for everyone. Mom, stop. It's okay. Oh, Morven always knows how to mess things up, doesn't he? I don't see how you're much better, Mum. In fact... Hey, Niall. Uh, but did you see their faces? They really loved it. All of them. I know. Thank you. Let's go home, shall we? I'll have a word with Morven. Smooth things over. I'll make sure everything's all right. No, I don't think I should go. Not home. And not with you. I'll never get anywhere if I just stay here. I'm leaving, Mum. I'm leaving Hogsmeade. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.